Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Mondo Docs. My name is Lawrence, the creator of Mondo Docs. In this episode, we're checking out a building called the Cathedral of Learning, right here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It's one of the tallest buildings in Pittsburgh, and one of the most haunted, apparently. I've never been there in my entire life. I've been outside of it, but never inside. I've seen a few pictures of what it may look like on the interior, but never actually stepped foot inside. So. What you see is my first time going in there, and I'm pretty excited. Um, it's a really historic building. It's supposed to be absolutely beautiful inside, so I'm excited to bring you along with me for the first time to explore this location. But before we do that, a few weeks ago, I went to check out a uh, George Romero exhibit. That's right, Pittsburgh opened up its own George A. Romero exhibit. Uh, and this was the opening reception of sorts. They had um, unused screenplays on display, props, guest speakers such as Romero's um, widow, and uh, oh, and lots of snacks. All the snacks. And I bumped into Tom Zavini outside the building. That was cool. He almost hit me with his car, which was not that cool, but still kind of exciting. So before we check out the spooky building, let's check out the George Romero um, party and some of the footage I shot from that night, excluding getting, almost getting hit by Tom Zavini's car. This is a great collection, and these, oh, uh, just to have him having a <laughs> big deal. Things too. Yeah, yeah, to Georgia. Creep show. Evil ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yes, it was. Right. I think that was spot on. Definitely one of my favorite things in the collection. It's very, very... Oh, okay. Film and Media Studies at the University of Pittsburgh. I'm also a board member of the George A. Romero Foundation. Adam, how'd you get started with uh, creating the Romero series? Uh, I was lucky enough to be uh, at the right place at the right time. I, uh, my research is about horror films, and uh, uh, I was uh, introduced to Suze Romero, who's the president and founder of the George A. Romero Foundation, and uh, we pretty quickly felt like uh, we had a shared cause in terms of wanting to find a home for uh, George Romero's archive and uh, we found partners uh, both within the foundation and at the University of Pittsburgh who were excited to help us with that process and um, it's resulted in this uh, fantastic evening. <laughs> What's your uh, thought on the turnout tonight for this? I would estimate there's uh, uh, between 500 and 800 people who came through tonight. Yeah. So what do you, uh, what's your eventual goal with this? Where do you see this going in five, well, ten years? Well, the, uh, the foundation 
foundation's plans uh, are sort of uh, three steps. One step is the archive, and now that the archive is here at the University of Pittsburgh, to grow that uh, Romero collection into a horror studies archive writ large. All art forms, uh, all periods, all uh, national origins, uh, and then to build a horror studies research center at the University of Pittsburgh um, would be the second uh, step that would focus study uh, uh, of horror at the university. And then the third step would be um, uh, uh, to establish a horror museum in Pittsburgh. So it's a big plan, it's ambitious, but uh, given that we've accomplished this already, I think it's, it's all within reach. It's astonishing to me that there is no museum of horror in this country, anywhere in the world. It's just, I can't believe it. And I think we need to do that. I think we need to get uh, a lot of people together and make this happen. And uh, we're going to work very hard to get it done. All right, guys. That was the Romero uh, exhibit footage. Hopefully you enjoyed it. So I just got back. Well, let me explain. That earlier intro I did was before I went to the location I was going to today. I just got back from that location. Um, spent a decent amount of time there, kind of. Um, it wasn't really as, well, I don't know how to explain it. It wasn't really what I expected. Um, the building was beautiful inside and out. It was amazing. I plan on going back actually to get more footage um, because when I walked in, there was something going on. Let's just say that I didn't realize that that building um, <laughs> hosts events like festivals. Well, they do, apparently. And I didn't find this out until today. So I'll let the footage speak for itself. There you go. Enjoy. guys yeah I'm at the film here today but there's a Christmas kind of festival going on so I'm not sure how this is gonna go I went to film in a haunted building and uh, yeah so and there's a lot of people here today so it kind of ruins the, the experience kinda but we're still gonna go explore and uh, we're gonna find the haunted room, which is called the Early American Room. So let's go check it out. Notice the carved stone dragon above the entrance in the corridor. It represents the legendary victory of the white dragon over the white dragon, found in numerous tales of medieval Wales. It also represents. This is the Ukrainian room. Ooh. Let's go find the early American room. This is open. Oh, it does. Ah, oh, the chalkboard. Look at that. Should I write something? There we go. Well, we found the American room. We just can't get inside it, unfortunately. Okay, wait. No, it is locked. Not only is there a Christmas festival going on to kill all spooky immersion, but we also can't even get in here. So, 
this trip is, uh, <laughs> well, let's just say that I'm not happy. I think this is the Japanese room. Or maybe, maybe not. I have no idea. <laughs> nope, I thought this slid. I thought it was a sliding door, but it's not. I am an idiot. Wow. Actually, I'm not sure what room this is. Oh, actually, it might be. It might be Japanese, right? So, in this building, there's a bunch of different rooms on multiple floors. Each room is a different nationality or different country. And the early American room is supposed to be haunted, but of course we can't get inside it. So, even though it's a letdown, we're still gonna go explore. Right now I'm on the fourth floor. It's like just all offices. But overall it's a pretty cool, cool building. Huge. We're on the 42nd, I mean, I'm sorry, the 42nd, we're on the 32nd, uh, or 36th floor before, and uh, yeah, the view is just gorgeous up there. But um, like I said, we might come here at night just to kinda come here when it's Less crazier and less, less Christmasly, Christmasy, I guess you could say. Right, let's go. Let's go explore the third floor or the second floor again. Alright guys, I did go explore a few other rooms in the building, but what you saw in this video was mostly what the building had to offer anyway. There really wasn't much else to see, and it was kind of a bummer since the early American room was for some reason locked up. I did see an old church outside and went to go check it out, but that too was locked up. Overall, Polish Fest was pretty fun and random to see, and the building itself was absolutely beautiful, and I'm glad I went to go check it out, despite the room I wanted to go see was locked. But hey, if you liked this video, hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.